for a 7075 T651 alloy that's going to be loaded up to a stress equal to one half of its yield strength, we are asked to determine the maximum internal crack length allowable if the dimensionless crack shape parameter y is 1.35. For questions like this, we're going to use Griffith's fracture toughness equation, which is K1C equals y times sigma times the square rooted quantity of pi times the half crack length, AC. In order to solve for the half crack length and eventually the maximum internal crack length, we first then have to know what our fracture toughness and our yield strength is. So the fracture toughness, K1C, looking it up in the appendix of the book, we find is 24 megapascal root meters. And the yield strength equals 505 megapascals. We are only going to take it up to half of that value. So our applied stress will be the yield stress divided by 2. So it is going to be 505 divided by 2 megapascals. Let's go ahead and rearrange our Griffith's fracture toughness equation to solve for the half crack length, AC. Having done so, we can now substitute in values. Plugging these values in, we find that the half crack length is equal to 0.00158 meters. Or in other words, our half crack length is equal to 1.58 millimeters. However, we're told in this question that this is an internal flaw, and we know that if an internal flaw has a total length say x, that x is in fact equal to 2 times the half crack length. Therefore, our total length is going to be this number multiplied by 2, which is 3.16 millimeters.